making a new homemade whipped body butter for eczema and dry skin that's made with simple and natural ingredients and no beeswax. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Sarah and I'm a naturopathic doctor specializing in dermatology. I have been making my own body butter for eczema and it has greatly reduced my symptoms of eczema and keeps my skin feeling soft and moisturized. The ingredients you'll need for this recipe are shea butter, sunflower oil, coconut oil, vitamin E oil, as well as dried herbs. And today I am using calendula, plantain leaf, and lavender flower. And then lastly, I also like to add in essential oils. This is optional, but they also have some added benefits for the skin and just make it smell amazing. For equipment, you're going to need some glass storage containers with lids, a hand mixer such as this, or an immersion blender like this one. But today in this recipe, I'm just going to be using my hand mixer because I feel like more people probably have that. And of course, we're going to need a mixing bowl to mix everything together and a saucepan to heat up the oils and soften them. So the first step in making this body butter is to draw out all of the amazing healing properties of our herbs. You can either do that by making an herbal oil infusion and so where you mix the oil and the herbs in a mason jar for example and you let it sit on your countertop to three to five weeks shaking it every so often or the quicker way is to macerate your herbs in oil on the stovetop. So let's go over there and check that out. Using a double boiler, set heat to medium and add in oils and shea butter. These oils all help heal the skin barrier, reduce inflammation, and decrease transepidermal water loss and increase moisture in the skin. If your skin is sensitive to coconut oil, you can emit this oil. Once the shea butter and coconut oil have melted, turn heat to the lowest setting and add in the herbs. These herbs are all anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and very soothing and anti-itch for eczema. Set timer and heat on low for 30 to 45 minutes. After the timer turns off, remove your mixture from the stovetop and let cool for about 10 minutes. Next, carefully strain the herbs from the oil mixture, pressing down with a spoon to get all the healing properties from the herbs into the oil. Add one teaspoon of vitamin E oil. Vitamin E is an amazing antioxidant for the skin and also helps keep the body butter fresh by preventing the oils from going rancid. Add 30 to 40 drops of your favorite essential oil. Here I added 10 drops of peppermint and about 30 drops of patchouli. I also love adding lavender essential oil but was all out. Stir with a spoon and then cover and place in the freezer for 20 to 30 minutes. Remove from the freezer and blend with your hand mixer for a few minutes until the oils emulsify and become more opaque in color. From here, I place my mixture back in the freezer for another 10 minutes where it solidified more. Blend again for a minute and now the body butter should be more creamy and solid. Be sure to scrape the sides of the bowl well as the butter on the edges is harder and more solid from the freezer. Blend for about 2-4 to four more minutes until the mixture becomes buttery, smooth, and fluffy. And that's it, no need to overblend. Now you are ready to serve your body butter in the containers. Tap it a few times to release any air pockets and you are ready to moisturize and feed your skin some amazing healing vitamins and nutrients. Alright everyone, here is the final product. It's super thick and creamy. 
and just so soft and smooth. Ooh, we got a lot there. But it just melts into the skin and it smells so good. Mmm, I actually really like the patchouli and peppermint blend. So that is going to be this video. Let me know if you try making this recipe. I also have another recipe on my channel that's a little bit older and I use beeswax in that one. And yeah, both are really great. They're kind of a little bit different texture, but this one feels a little bit lighter actually than my other body butter. So I feel like this would be a great spring and summertime body butter. And just really nourishing, really anti-inflammatory, anti-itch, which is great for eczema. And yeah, if you have any questions, like always, link them down in the comments. And we'll see you in the next video.